So people, unlike traditional linear periodization, a cluster training focuses on concentrated modes on high intensity work, uh, interested with brief recovery period within a session. So this method optimizes both volume and intensity fostering greater adaptation. Clusters involves breaking a set into smaller distinct clusters with short rest intervals between each cluster. This allows an athlete to maintain quality repetition during high intensity exercises, promoting neuromuscular adaptation without compromising form. So the method is particularly effective for those who want to improve strength, power and skill specific tasks. Uh, one of the key advantages of cluster training lies in its ability to avoid fatigue. So by incorporating strategic rest intervals in between clusters, athletes can sustain peak power output throughout the entire session. So this approach challenges the body to adapt to a more dynamic workload um, uh, in, to improve performance, of course, and injury risk uh, uh, of injury. Um, additionally, um, cluster training provides diversity in programming, so it can be adapted to different training phases, accommodating both strength and power development. Athletes can manipulate, of course, the duration and intensity of clusters to align with their specific goals, making it as a valuable tool or as a valuable tool for various sport disciplines. As we go deeper into the specifics of cluster training periodization, it becomes evident uh, that this method is uh, not a one unique solution. So it demands careful planning and individualization based on athletes' needs, uh, sport requirements or discipline and training objectives. Uh, coaches and athletes in this case um, should embrace the adaptability of cluster training, uh, harnessing its potential to elevate performance to achieve their goals. So take this in consideration in our talk to you soon. Bye bye.